Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Jason Anthony's Photoshop Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a perfectly uh, three-dimensional looking sphere or circle. It can be used for many things. If you want to make eyeballs, I mean, you know, you can use it for so many things. Um, okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, right now I just have my Photoshop open and I have a white background. When you open up, this is usually what you're going to have. Uh, I am going to go over to my bucket tool, my paint bucket tool. I'm going to change it to whatever color we want. I'm going to keep it at like a nice um, light blue. You know, you can change it to whatever you'd like. Uh, you know what, let's do something like this, like a, like a aqua. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to go over to my ellipse tool. Um, the ellipse tool, there's all different there's all different uh, shapes you can choose. I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm using a mouse right now, not a tablet, so I'm going to hold down my shift key. And with the mouse, I'm going to click and drag. Um, when you have your shift key held down, it's going to make a perfect circle. I'm going to release the mouse, and now you have a perfect circle. Uh, I'm going to change the color to white. Hit OK. Then the next thing I'm going to do is go over to my paintbrush tool. Make sure that you have a brush a brush chosen that has zero hardness to it. Um, then you go over to the flow. Make sure your flow is really low. It'll start off at 100. You want to make sure it goes down to really low, like, I don't know, 5% even. Hit OK. Then you're going to change the color. Um, let's change. I'm going to change mine to almost black. Uh, Hit OK. When I go to click on this, it's going to tell me I have to rasterize my image. I'm going to just hit OK. I'm going to hit Enter. And now we basically have a circle on top of our background. I'm going to go over to our, to our shape, our circle, and I am going to lock the transparent pixels. I'm going to come back over with my paintbrush tool that I have uh, selected. Um, I am going to make it a little bit bigger. And now because it has zero hardness, it's going to just um, blend a little bit on the outside. So right now I'm just clicking and making little circular motions. Um, I'm going to let go every once in a while and grab it. and You know, basically I'm just, uh, I'm just clicking, letting go. Um, you know, I'm just playing around with it a little bit. But you want to make sure you make it a lot lighter on the inside than you do on the outside. So now I'm going to. I'm going to uh, make my brush even smaller and just get a little bit on the outside. I'm going to just raise my flow a little bit. Now, you can do that when you have a brush with zero hardness like this. You can do that by just hitting, you know, like if you want it to be at 10%, you hit number one, twenty percent hit number two, thirty percent number three, and so on and so forth. If you want something like thirty five, just hit three five real quick. For now I'm just gonna keep mine at ten percent. Um and again I'm gonna go to the corner and I'm just going to uh just play in the corners a little bit. I basically am trying to get it to make it look uh you know dark on the outside and lighter on the inside and that's pretty much it. Now you got a nice uh three-dimensional looking circle um, and like I said play with it a little bit there's so many things you can do with this um, and if you want what I'll do is I'll speed this up and I'll show you guys uh, what we can turn this to look into I'll make it to look into an eyeball for you how's that
All right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I basically just tried to make a little uh, cool design, a couple eyeballs, some veins hanging off. I don't know. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to maybe add a little bit of effect, some inner shadow and inner glow to the border, to the edges, to give it a little more uh, that dark depth. Um, gives a little more character. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for Thanks for viewing. I hope this was a help, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, please subscribe. We'll see you next time on Jason Anthony's Photoshop Tutorials.